Hey everyone, welcome back to Cuddy's Bookshelf. Today I'm going to be doing my top six manga recommendations. So some of them are series, some of them are standalones, some of them are new and I've just immediately fell in love with these and some of them are very very old and I have built up my passion for manga because of them. just want to show some love to my manga collection. So the first one that I'm going to show you is everyone's favourite manga, um, horror manga author Jinju Itsu. So this is Uzumaki. This is about a town that's on the coast of Japan that is said to be cursed. It's cursed by a pattern of spirals. Sounds absolutely bizarre, but it is so good. I really enjoyed this manga. It actually freaked me out a little bit. And after I read it, I was like seeing spirals everywhere. <laughs> so um highly recommend Jinju Itsu. I have got quite a lot of his works. I think I've got all of them to to be fair. Except for the one with his cat, the one that he wrote about owning a cat. Don't think I have that one yet. But all the rest of them I own. And I just love love his work. I, I tend to fall down a rabbit hole of Jinjuitsu. So once I read one, I like to build up a couple because I want to keep reading his works. But you normally see me reading, trying to read that quite a lot in autumn time. The second manga series... No. So the second manga I want to show you is actually a series. And this is Spy Family. So this is about an agent called Twilight who has to, to complete a certain mission, he has to build a family. So he goes to an orphanage, um, adopts this girl called Anya, then he finds himself a wife, and little be known to him, his daughter is a telepath, so she knows that he's a spy, but she also knows that his new wife is an assassin. So... In the house, there's a spy, assassin, and a telepath. And it goes from there, them living together, trying to be a family. It's just, who wouldn't want to read that? It's so, so good. I'm probably not doing it justice, but it is very, very good. The next one is another manga series, which is quite new to me. So I picked up these on, because I seen some reviews on them, and I was like, oh, that, that looks a bit of me. So I picked them up and then I've recently just read the first four volumes and I have been obsessed with it. I cannot wait for volume five to turn up. So you probably know, if you've seen any of my other videos, you probably know what's coming, but it's Kaijo number eight. And this is about a man who is called Kafka. He has always wanted to join the Defence Force since he was younger. And now that he's getting close to being in the force, um, he is going through some changes himself. And his big question is, how can he fight the Kaijo when he's becoming one? And it goes from there. Love it so much. I really want the fifth one already. But I highly recommend, especially if you like your um, action manga, highly recommend. The next one, completely different. This was a tearjerker and stole my heart. So this is I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. This is about a boy who finds his classmate's diary and finds out that she has a pancreatic disease, which is killing her. And because she doesn't, she has not told anyone because she does not want her life to change. And she doesn't want anyone to treat her any different. So because he find out from reading her diary, she has started to cling to him because it's someone that she can talk to. So the last thing he wants is to become friends. But because he knows her secret, it draws them together and it's an emotional one. Know them books that really hit you in the feels and stay with you for a while after. So the next manga I've got to show you is another series. And it was when I first heard about this, it was like the most bizarre concept of a manga. And I was like, through the smell? It is Sweat and Soap. So this is a 11 volume manga and it is about a girl who is very conscious of her body odour and 
a man that works creating different soaps. So they happen to Clyde one day and he has a whiff of her and loves her scent, which makes her extra conscious anyway. But she loves his soaps. So, and it's, it sounds bizarre and weird, but it's manga. What do you expect? And it is quite a cute little manga to draw someone out of their insecurities and make them actually like it about themselves. So, sweat and soap. Recommend. Then, the last but not least is my all-time favourite manga. So, this is a very well-known manga series. It is 74 volumes deep and I when I was growing up and this was coming out I would buy it each week and it's like my prized possession because I'm so attached to these characters and it is Bleach. So Bleach is my all-time favourite manga. I love the anime. So this is about a lad called Ichigo Kurosaki who is always had the ability to see ghosts and then one night he meets Rukia Kuchiki and she turns out to be a soul reaper. So soul reapers are people that come and guide lost souls into the soul society. There is something called hollows which hunt down people with a lot of spiritual energy. So him and his sisters all have very high spiritual pressure and Rukia goes to is drawn to their house because a hollow is it will be drawn to their house. So she comes, Ichigo can see her, and they end up trying to fight the hollow. She tries to keep Ichigo out of it, which causes him to sort of get in the way, and she gets her she tries to lend him some of her soul reaper powers and ends up giving all of them to him. So he then turns into a substitute soul reaper and the soul society where um, Rookie is from is not happy about it. And I, I can't tell you enough how much you need to read this series. It is so good. If you like your action manga and you have not read this yet, please read it. I love Kenpachi Zoraki. Just saying. Above all of them, read Bleach, please. If you haven't already, because it is well loved and well known. So yeah, that's it. That is my top six manga. I recommend that you go out and read if you haven't already. If you have read them, please leave a comment down below of which ones you've read and if you love them or not. Um, if you haven't read them, is there any that I've mentioned that you are interested in reading? And some of them are still going, so if you catch up, you can pre-order for them when they come out and we can get excited together. I absolutely love all of them. And I hope that you get some decent recommendations. I know they're all pretty popular, but they're all ones that I will go back to again and again and reread. So I thought it was worth a shout out. So I hope you all are having a lovely day or night, wherever you are. I hope you are staying safe and all well. And I will see you on my next video. Goodbye. This is about a boy who finds his school friends. No, not his school friends. Nah. So this is about a boy who finds a school. One of his, what is it? What am I trying to say? Classmate. That's what I'm trying to say. So this is about Ichigo, who has always been at the... So this is about... Ichigo.